You hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence keeps this blog ad-free. <laughs> Hello folks, welcome to Ink Dependence. I'm Mike, and today we're getting in this box. Uh, this is a box from Drum Ghouls. I ordered a couple of things from them, and I said, hey, uh, I I'd like to do a review on some of this stuff if you're into it. And they said, yeah, sure. And so, I'm not exactly sure what's in this box, but uh, it's heavy, so I've got high hopes. Uh, today I'm opening this with a brand new knife to the Mike collection, the Spyderco Spidey Chef, which I just got sticky stuff from this <laughs> this tape on. The Spidey Chef is such a nice little knife, though. Uh, I think it can take a little tape, and it can take some cleaning very easily because this uh, blade is pretty much corrosion proof. Neat, right? It's for like food prep and stuff, uh, ostensibly. But anyway, fun little knife. All right, let's get in here. Woo! All right. All right. Let me throw some of that on the floor. Uh, let's see. First, oh, these are smaller than I thought. Oh, how about... Whoa! All right. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, so two things that I got first. These are the things that I actually... Uh, that I actually ordered first, which are the cat and dog rescue pens. These are the newest of the uh, the uh, Retro 51 rescue pens. And nose? No. Oh. Speaking of rescue, cat was trying to rescue this video from being made by stepping all over my stuff. So uh, let's get into one of these. Uh, I'm gonna let Audrey open one of them. Let's open. Let's open the dog because uh, you know I'm the orange guy. Yeah, let's get in here. <laughs> this plastic man that really wants to stick to my fingers. There. Blah. Blah. Okay. These are really neat pens because uh, not only do they look neat, uh, but uh, a portion of the proceeds go to help rescue dogs and cats, which I really like. Look at all these cute little dogs. By the way, yesterday was our dog Scraggles. Uh, gotcha day. Yesterday is seven years since we picked her up from the shelter. And, uh, that is pretty darn cool. So look at this. Woof. Adopt. Hi. Rescue me. Friends forever we got down here. Real cute. We have this little dog and cat rescue, uh, finial, which I like a lot. And, uh, there we go. So, let's see. Is this a ballpoint or is this a rollerball? I think these are ballpoints. I just says ballpoint there. Yeah, great. I like the ballpoint the best. Uh, the rollerball refill and I do not get along super well. Get, of course, now I can't. Uh... There we go. And boom. These Retro 51 pins are very nice. I'm glad Retro is sticking around as a company. That makes me happy. I really like these. I like these little tubes that they come in too because they're nice little stands for the pens. If you don't happen to have a stand for your pen, just throw it back in there. Works real well. All right, so there we go. There's the dog rescue. I'm going to leave the cat rescue for Audrey to open uh, when she gets home in a little bit because, uh, you know, why not? She likes opening stuff too. Okay, now let's get into the stuff that they sent out for review. Uh, and that is Diplomat Inks. Diplomat has recently released some inks. And I was like, hey, can I get a couple of those? And he said, yeah, sure, I'll send them to you. Uh, apparently he meant all of them. Oh, look at this ink bar at Drum Ghouls. So go to Drum Ghouls for all your your ink inky needs here they have this thing called the ink bar when you go to the pen shows i actually haven't been to their store since they've had the ink bar and stuff they have this giant sign that they bring to pen shows uh like the dallas pen show which is where it's easiest to get and uh you have this giant ink bar which is fun all right uh so let's get into these and we'll do some swatching how about that if i can get them out of these containers <laughs> there ah all right so first we have black and deep green. It says by by octopus fluids down here at the bottom. That's interesting. I don't know octopus fluids. Huh. Interesting. Cool. All right. I'm just gonna have to open these up with a knife. Spidey Chef, do work. Dude, I bought this from. His name is Jeremy. He is real good at sharpening knives. You can look at his Instagram and he will have pictures of knives with like mirror finish edges on them. And I think he might have sharpened this one because darn is this ever sharp. Really nice. So much easier than trying to unstick these dumb things. Ugh. I love these little envelopes that are the bubble wraps. You can just tape, pull them over and tape them or whatever. But man, sometimes they do not want to untape. 
Okay, so we have Orchid, we have Pine Tree. These are two that I was actually really uh, hoping to get because they are pretty darn cool. And the Burgundy looks really nice as well online. There's red, royal blue, deep green, and black. So, for that's seven inks. I think that's the whole collection of Diplomats. So let's go ahead and do some swatching. Because, uh, I mean, that's what we're here for. We want to see what's in these what's in these swatches. These inks are uh, 30 mil bottles, and they go for $10.80 on the Drum Ghouls website. There we go. It's a nice little bottle. It reminds me of the uh, the Pelican uh, 4001 bottles and the Kaveco bottles and things like that. They have this uh, distinctly German look. And my various uh, swatching paraphernalia. Okay. It's okay, no disasters here. <laughs> All right. I wanted to try to drip on me. A little foil on the inside of the cap there. That's interesting. I don't usually see that. Uh, the burgundy is very red straight out the box, which is uh, interesting. Usually I think a burgundy is being darker, but we'll see how this looks. I'm kind of interested to see what the red is going to look like now that that's the, since the burgundy is so red. Fresh card. Let's do the red next because, hey, why not? <laughs> to pop that little bubble at the top. So now you a little bubble at the top of the ink there. All right. Kind of as I, as I suspected, the red is actually very pink uh, compared to the burgundy, which is really very red. So that's interesting. That, that is so undersaturated. I'm not sure what that's going to look like from a pen, but from my glass dip nib, it definitely comes off looking kind of pink, kind of rosé or rose instead of uh, instead of red. But uh, we'll see how that goes when I get it in a pen eventually. We'll be doing that today. There are too many. All right, let's do. Uh, we're on this. We're on this trend already. Let's hit this orchid next. All right, the orchid is a vibrant pink. That is a really nice color. So compared to the other two, <laughs> I need more space on my desk in this little area. I've got too many things. <laughs> just push everything off to the side. Hold on a sec. All right. So there's the red, and then there's the orchid, and then there's burgundy, which has definitely darkened up a bit, I think, as it's dried. It's become more of what I think of as a burgundy and less of a red. But the red is still leaning kind of pink, and the orchid is just like really nice and bright very bold ink color i dig it all right from here let's go to uh pine tree which is a really nice looking brown i like to look at this one a lot online looking forward to this one this one like the red does not want to stick to my letter opener at all there we go i got a little bit any more all right looks like it's gonna be a real nice woody sort of brown uh, i like it Let's go from uh, pine tree to deep green. Seems like the way to go. This one looks very emeraldy here in the bottle and on that lid. There we go. As I suspected, a very turquoise, or not turquoisey, but kind of um, emeraldy sort of green there. And uh, yeah, I think that's cool. That actually looks really good off my dip pen. And I hope it looks that good out of a nib because that is a nice green. All right, two left. Let's do black, or let's do blue, and then black. This one actually looks a little bit light on the saturation, which I'm surprised by. I have done the original Diplomat blue, and I want to say Diplomat black as well in reviews. All right, looks like royal blue is kind of a blurple, really, which I guess is what makes it royal. That purple color is uh, one of those traditional royalty sorts of colors. Uh, looks a little bit on the light side if you look here in the uh, where the dip pen was writing. It's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit light, a little bit, um, yeah, sort of a dusty purpley blue. And that's an interesting color. I'm not sure it's my favorite, but it's an interesting color. All right, one left, and that's black. These are, by the way, Colodex cards that I'm using for these swatches. And you can find these at uh, lots and lots of retailers, and also uh, my friend Anna Reinert's uh, uh, blog page at WellAppointedDesk.com. Probably at dromghouls.com if I had to lay a guess. Ooh, this looks interesting. Okay. So that black is actually darker than I thought it was going to be. Although, it does almost seem up in here that it leans a little bit towards like a super dark blue or maybe a very, very dark green over here. I think this is going to be an interesting one to get chromatography done for uh, when I do the actual reviews on these. But let's go ahead and take a look at them now that most of them are dried, aside from black here, of course. 
Uh, so black and uh, deep green here, and then blue. And then we've got uh, pine tree, which is not quite, not quite uh, dried over here on this little edge where there's a bit of pooling. Also, the deep blue uh, still has a little bit of drying to do right here in the middle. But yeah, or uh, sorry, royal blue. Then burgundy, which I think is really nice. I think this burgundy looks good. I'm really digging that sort of uh, sort of burgundy red color. Uh, and then red, which uh, I don't know, I'm not loving. I think it's more of a carnation than a red, really. But uh, look, they don't have a pink in this collection, uh, aside from orchid, which is a much different color. So no, uh, no copies, no duplicates or anything here. Fairly, uh, fairly. I don't know. I don't want to say basic exactly because of how that word is used now. But uh, like, it's a pretty standard set of inks, right? So you got green, brown, black, blue, uh, a couple of reds, and then a pink. And uh, man, this might be the standout. This one, this one in the green might actually be the standouts in this collection for me, just from the swatches. But I'll have to get these in pens. I have a bunch of inks on the, on deck right now, uh, so these will be coming up in the uh, in the future. And uh, you can find these little bottles, these little thirty mil bottles of Diplomat ink by Octopus Studios. Interestingly, uh, you can find these at Dromgul's for 10 bucks and 80 cents, which is, I think, a pretty darn nice price for a little bottle like this. It's cute, and uh, the ink looks good. So, there you go. I will see y'all in another video. Peace out.